In this video, we're going to take a look at the electrophilic addition reactions of alkenes, although this does also does apply to alkynes too. So to kind of start off with, we first need to refresh our memory about the structure of alkenes. Alkenes contain a carbon-carbon double bond, and this carbon-carbon double bond is formed by a end-to-end -end overlap between two sp2 hybridized orbitals and then the second bond the pi bond is overlap between two p orbitals that are side to side so we have an extra pair of electrons in here within the pi bond which means that it's electron rich there are three sort of variations of this electrophilic addition reaction then that we're going to go through in this video. The first is the electrophilic addition of halogens across a double bond. Now, I know I'm talking about double bonds, but this can also apply to alkynes too. So just kind of keep that in mind is whatever we talk about with a double bond, it can also work with triple bonds as well. Now, in this particular reaction, we have our double bond and we have our bromine. And I just kind of want to show it drawn out separately here because what's happening in this reaction is we're getting a bromine adding to one carbon and the other bromine's adding to the other carbon. And when that happens, the double bond breaks so that we create the alkane here. So I'm just going to draw it out. And then maybe let's put the bromines in, in another color here. So one's adding on one carbon, the other is adding on the other carbon. And so what we're creating is a dibromo alkane from an alkene. Now this particular reaction can be used to test for the presence of unsaturated compounds in a mixture of hydrocarbons because bromine water itself is sort of like a reddish brown color and the dibromo um, product here is colorless so if we have an alkene and we have this particular reaction happening we'd see a disappearance of the color it would turn more color less in the presence of alkenes and alkynes. For alkanes, alkanes don't undergo this reaction unless there's a catalyst of UV or heat. So because we don't have that catalyst here, alkanes will not undergo this reaction. So it's a nice distinguishing reaction to use if you want to see if you have alkenes or alkynes present. Now this particular reaction, because we're adding halogens, is also known as halogenation. So the next variation of electrophilic addition we're going to look at is the addition of hydrogen halides to a double bond or a triple bond. So let's start out with HBr here to our alkene, our ethene. What's happening here is that, similar to the last reaction, a hydrogen is going to add to one of the carbons and a bromine will add to the other one. And what we'll end up creating is a alkane where one carbon, and we'll put this in a different color, has the hydrogen from the HBr added and the other carbon will have the bromine added. So because we're adding hydrogen and a halogen, this is known as hydrohalogenation. So this is just another way to kind of refer to this particular reaction here. Now, in the second example, we actually have a couple of varieties of products that can be produced. So let's kind of look at our alkyne first and adding one HBr. We have to decide where this H is going to add across this triple bond and where the bromine is going to add across this triple bond. Now, if there's two sort of possibilities here. So if we added the Br to the first one, we'd have a 1-bromo substituted compound. And if we added the bromine on the second carbon, we'd have a 2-bromo product. So we need to be able to distinguish which one we're making. The rule that we can use here, it's called Markovnikov's rule. So Markovnikov's rule. 
And what this rule says, and we'll go into this in more detail when we look in a separate video at the reaction mechanisms, is that essentially the more electronegative atom is going to end up on the carbon atom of the double, double bond that has fewer hydrogens attached to that specific carbon. So that is a mouthful. Essentially what it means is if we take a look at these two carbons here, this first carbon is attached to one hydrogen and then the triple bonded carbon, whereas this carbon here is attached to a methyl group and a triple bonded carbon. So this is attached to one hydrogen and this one is attached to zero hydrogens. So the bromine is going to attach to the carbon with less hydrogens and the hydrogen is going to attach to the carbon with more. So if we add one mole and we start there, then, whoops, sorry, I'm drawing this wrong. Let's uh, erase that little guy there. I'm getting ahead of myself here. We're going to have a bromine added here and a hydrogen added here and our other hydrogens here, and we've got our alkene as our product. And then if we add another HBr here, again, the hydrogen's gonna add to this carbon here because it now has two hydrogens. And the bromine will add to this carbon here, which is still attached to zero hydrogens. So our final product we're creating is we're gonna have two bromines attached to this carbon and then we will have two hydrogens attached to the other carbon. Okay, so that's how we can come up and figure out which one, which product we're going to create based on how many hydrogens that carbon is attached to. Our final variation we're going to look at is the electrophilic addition of water. Uh, water is basically we're hydrating it, so this is also known as a hydration reaction. And when we think of water, it's easier to think of it as an HOH. So the OH kind of working together and the H working together. Now, similar to the other reactions, a hydrogen is going to add on one side of the double bond and OH will add on the other side of the double bond. We break that double bond. And so what we are creating here is a alcohol. So let's just draw in the hydrogen and the OH here. Now that one was pretty easy because it was symmetrical. But again, when we have an asymmetrical alkene or alkyne, the way that this is going to add is, again, the OH will attach to the carbon with less hydrogens attached, and then the H will attach to the one that has more. So in this scenario, this first carbon has two hydrogens attached whereas this one only has one hydrogen attached. So the H will add to this first carbon here. The OH will add to the second carbon. We break that double bond, so we are creating, let's just draw this out here, and we'll use our red again to show where those other atoms are going. So the H, or sorry, the uh, this is our OH, so let's just erase that there. So we're creating our OH and our H there, or our propen 2 all here, instead of a propen one all. So this just tells us what the major product is going to be using, again, Markovnikov's rule. So those are the electrophilic addition reactions for halogens, for hi hydrogen halides, and for water. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.